What's going on guys? Comic Games here. So today the very first breadboard in my life has just arrived and the way how things are shipped in Ukraine is not the best ever but anyway let's have a look what we have kind of inside right so okay so yeah try not to cut the resistors and the leds this very exciting moment uh as a programmer i've never ever touched uh any devices intended for building something hardware specific let's say and so you know let's try to take the breadboard away you know like uh when i was uh when i was kind of like wiring uh various pieces uh in tinkercad I, I was only imagining how i can actually plug the real the real wire into this oh my god this is so so nice into the real breadboard yeah I, i'm really tempted to try this just just right in the moment and well, well but before that let's have a look so what did they pack here all right oh, a bunch of stuff okay so i have a bunch of leds uh i don't know what this guy does actually right maybe some sensor i'm not sure what is that Okay, so LEDs, something that I can understand at the very least. So far, so good. Okay. And we have the push buttons. They click quite nicely. And I believe that they can actually be clicked like this. Okay. Well... Doesn't look very impressive, but yeah, even a red button might be cool at some point. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a little bit different. Uh, we actually see this for real, and I'm really wondering: is this actually? Yeah, it seems like it can be plugged into into the breadboard. Uh, yeah, it seems like it can be plugged actually, which is cool. All right, so, uh, well, two sets of resistors. Oh, it seems like, well, uh, I'm completely dumb in this, but I believe that as far as we have the different stripes and the resistors, then probably uh, they have the different levels of the resistance, which should be, which should be the case. And that makes sense. Yeah. So really lots of different resistors yeah i think it's time to it's time to learn about this markup because well other, uh, another uh, way is just to take the multimeter and try and test trying to test them it probably makes sense as well um okay did they still a couple of resistors here i'm just wondering oh no you just they just all right now everything is here okay yeah this is the most exciting part so leds and resistors just a way to burn those leds so far so good well i'm just i'm wondering why this why this pants have this like a bit weird form i thought they should be straight but for some reason they are not yeah i'm really wondering what the heck is this actually if anyone knows, please let me know in the commentaries. I don't know I don't, what the heck is this. Okay. And yeah, let's try to grab, put these guys in here. Now you might be wondering uh, uh, if, I, if I'm not familiar with uh, some parts of this kit, then why the heck did I actually buy it? And by the way, it's pretty miserable price. It's around $10 with the delivery, which is yeah which is nice 
Um, yeah, I just want to try to put the LED in. It's very different from what I what I've been doing on um, with what I've been doing in the simulator. Oh my god, this is the very first LED I'm plugging into the uh, into the breadboard, guys. This is a historical moment. Uh, it doesn't seem to. Okay, can go. Uh, just trying to not break it. Oh my god, it's easier to write the code rather than plug the single LED into the breadboard. When I've been watching videos by Ben Eater, which actually motivated me to buy this real sort of a thing, it felt like easier. Okay, it seems like I've just plugged the LED in, and yeah, <laughs> this is so nice. Uh, a very interesting feeling. Yeah, it looks so real. I'm wondering, can I? Uh, I'm, I'm just afraid to plug the button in because it, it seems like that it might not, like, it might break the breadboard at some point. I believe this might break. Oh, hold on. Just, yeah, probably uh, it should be done like, oh my god. I don't know how to plug this. No, probably like this. Is this going to break the bread? Uh, okay, guys, yeah, I just don't really want to break it for now, so I really need to play around before because I'm just, I'm touching this for the very first time in my life. I have no idea how to work with this stuff. Okay, and what I was interested the most, uh, well, actually, uh, uh, I actually wanted to buy only this, this jumpers and the breadboard because that's exactly what I need for a project. I probably won't need... Uh, the resistors because they doesn't seem to be involved in the project and also uh, I have a 4x4, uh, I've, I've ordered the 4x4 keypad, uh, keypad and so these uh, these kind of buttons are not on the cards really but they were just the part and also these LEDs were the part so yeah might try to play around with them now what I'm really wondering is how actually this tiny little guys be plugged in? Just wondering. So it doesn't seem to fit there. Am I doing something wrong? Okay, here we go. Okay. I don't know if you can see this guys, yeah. So yes, this is really interesting. So oh man, it's much easier to do with a mouse on a screen. I feel such a dump. Okay, so it seems like I just plugged in two. Okay, well, I hope I hope the it, it would be uh, I hope it would be good enough actually. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Okay, guys, so now uh, let's have a look at the top secret project, uh, which is the reason of why did I buy this kind of kit okay so you might be wondering like why the heck do i actually need that breadboard and here is the answer basically but don't tell anyone this is the top secret project at the moment okay so i didn't show this to anyone yet um the idea is to build a sort of a retro computer using arduino um the lcd display and the 4x4 uh keys keypad and that's pretty much all about it. Uh, the only difference is that instead of Arduino Uno, I'm going to be using uh, Arduino Nano. And uh, I'm already waiting for that to arrive. So actually, this, the first piece has just arrived. So I want, I'm looking for three more pieces to arrive, right? And hopefully, uh, I would then be uh, kind of able to build this uh, using the real pieces, the real hardware, right? So uh, what, what do I have here, basically? So here... Uh, I have uh, an imaginary CPU emulator that has a very minimalist set of opcodes, uh, which are mainly mostly inspired by 6502 processor. But it's really simplified because uh, I really want to, uh, I'm going to be making a full blown tutorial series on how to build this hardware and software absolutely from scratch, like from from this uh, details basically. Well, not not exactly from from scratch. Using like how to plug everything in together, how to write the code, how to upload the code, and how to eventually make it work, right? So, uh, it would be possible to, so like in good old retro computers, uh, I mean like not, not in retro computers, like in the actual computers from back in the day, 
uh, the only way to load something into the computer was uh, to use the tape right and so you could have just load a game using the tape or if you just coded something you could have stored that to the tape and here i'm going to be using the serial port basically in order to uh, fit the code in or uh, if i write if i uh, write some code uh, write some working app i then would be uh, capable of pulling this back to the computer using the using the serial port well usb uh, in this case so uh, initially this sort of a thing uh, is going to boot into a hex editor so i, I can show you again like top, top secret don't tell anyone so uh it doesn't do much yet uh it doesn't do much at the moment uh and currently all this uh the emu the processor emulator is currently disabled and i'm actually debugging the the hex editor as uh, as the bootable environment to code in this imaginary machine code in order to make uh, the this computer kind of do something so it would have been intended to kind of like uh, input the address of some sort and uh, the the amount of memory is uh, for now it's miserable so I only have one kilobyte of RAM and actually Arduino Nano has two kilobytes of RAM so but I'm not sure uh, how, how much would it be uh, free there because I'm also using like I also need to solve the registers all this stuff so I'm not sure how so probably that would be a bit more but one kilobyte is, is is really hardcore thin, but anyway. So uh, first, it would it would have been intended to kind of like draw um, uh, to input the address of where to write the bytes, and then uh, followed by the bytes, and the bytes would be representing the opcodes and like these opcodes here. Uh, I'll define here. So uh, mostly these opcodes are inspired by by, by Ben Eater's computer. Well, uh, however, I've added. Uh, a few more, for instance, this bitwise operators, because I really uh, dreaming. I'm dreaming to write a uh, chess engine using this sort of a thing. I'm not sure if that is going to be possible ever, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, eventually. So just yeah, it just needs to be. Uh, yeah, and uh, th this is very buggy at the moment. So uh, just uh, I'm currently debugging the hex editor. I, I didn't even finish writing the hex editor yet. But anyway, so here I was just trying to parse the memory address, like uh, translating this ASCII characters to to the hex. But it was uh, 3 a.m. in the morning uh, today, and yeah, and then I was going to the dentist. So like, my head has blew up completely. So yes, yeah, doesn't matter really. So. Um, the idea is that in order to follow the tutorial, you won't actually need a real hardware because the hardware I'm building this computer is already available here at Tinkercad. And well, I bought a slightly different keyboard. It doesn't, it shouldn't contain uh, like this labels on it. Just just the bare buttons like you've seen in the, in uh, in the beginning of this video. And LCD is not going to be just the board, but uh, that would be. Uh, there is a thing called uh, Arduino LCD Shield, so there are, there would be a couple of buttons there, and probably this resistor already would be plugged into the board, so no need to do this. And probably this uh, uh, brightness uh, resistor is like potentiometer is, is going to be either involved or there would be just a fixed backlight uh, strength, let's say. And what I did yesterday, or, or it's better to say today. Uh, at night or early or early morning uh i've connected uh so th there was a star th there was a starter here at tinkercad that was like arduino plus the lcd and what i've added is this uh this keypad and i've connected this to custom pins so i've used three digital pins and here the analog pins are used as digital pins and bear in mind the fact that the pinout on arduino nano is the same is uh, on arduino uno it should be uh, working exactly the same. So I'm going to be using the jumpers that I've been showing you uh, in the video. Well, uh, probably maybe I missed something. In that case, I will probably need to buy some missing details. But uh, again, like, I've never been doing this by hand since something physical. But again, like after watching those tutorials by Ben Eater, how he has been building a breadboard computer, I really felt that it's time to actually start working with the real hardware. And obviously, working with Arduino is not even close to uh, building your own computer from scratch. And actually creating a, a CPU emulator is a bit of a cheating, so it would be much better to actually try to build this from the low level, 
well, not maybe not from the discrete logic, but uh, at least from a bit more sophisticated uh, integrated circuits. But anyway, so uh, I just need to start somewhere, and actually, uh, this is intended to be the most minimalist uh, computer possible, basically. So just write code using the machine, the hex, uh, the hexadecimal numbers. So you see, like from zero to nine A B C D. This button might be treated as F, and this might be this star might be treated as Enter. No backspace, but who needs backspace really? So yeah, uh, this is gonna be interesting. And first, uh, I will debug. So I have I have a few more days until my Arduino arrives. I'm, I'm, I'll make another unboxing video on that as well. But then before that, I have some time to actually debug this thing to uh, complete the hex editor and try to try to write something using this opcode try to see like how usable this is and then uh i will build this uh on the real hardware and hopefully if, if it works then i'll show it i'll make a video on that and if everything works as expected then i'll make a full-blown tutorial like from the very beginning and up to the working computer and also uh, it's it should be very cheap so uh the overall price well uh it might be really different in your region but even if you have have a look at the pricing at the official arduino uh kind of website so nano costs around 27 dollars or something like that well e even if it costs 30 dollars it's, it's pretty miserable so it's it not not only near to this this kind of like keypad well L lcd well uh in my case lcd was uh, probably a bit more expensive that even than the Arduino itself believe it or not I'm not sure why exactly that has happened but who knows so yeah well it would be uh well I I believe this this is gonna be below uh that, that the self cost without the delivery uh it should be under $100 so it's pretty reasonable price for such an exciting project uh for such an exciting project and the most uh, important thing that uh you don't need to buy uh the parts from uh, from a single place like you, you like you need to do in case of uh if you want to follow the tutorials by banator because it's really easier to order uh order the kit from him directly rather than trying to bring all these uh, details from from different places however again like if you're inside, if you're outside the north america it might be a little bit of trouble well, at least for me personally this is completely out of question like it's it's not it's not definitely not the way to go but with arduino you obviously can buy the parts uh like wherever you're based uh on earth uh, on earth right so that shouldn't be a problem really and this is this intended to be really easy to follow tutorial and as the bonus what we have here that all the parts that i'm building this computer from are actually available at tinkercad so if you even if you don't buy anything if you don't really want to spend money without trying this first uh you can walk step by step and follow the tutorial step by step and then uh if you like how this works in the simulator then you would be able to buy this so this is pretty it from much uh, this is pretty from my side guys uh, and yeah so new unboxing videos are coming as soon as my uh arduino nano uh, lcd and keypad and keypad are coming and uh once i assemble this computer i'll like bundle all things together if it works i'll make a demo video and then hopefully we'll go for a tutorial series so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care